Hey guys, Castle Caden here. Today I'll be going over a tutorial on how to set up your Minecraft for a modded Let's Play. Keep in mind that this tutorial is in fact for Minecraft 1.6.2 and above. I had a previous one, but Mojang decided to change things around to make things infinitely more difficult. Anyways, this tutorial will be part of a series, so if you do see annotations in the future, going to the next video, I suggest you click on them after this video. This tutorial will specifically focus on the basics and also setting up an easier and custom install directory for Minecraft, as well as creating a custom launcher itself. First and foremost, what you'll want to do is head over to your browser and go to Minecraft.net. Click the Download It Here button. For Windows users, all you have to do is click Minecraft.exe right here. And for other users on other platforms, click on Show All Platforms and download what you need from here. Now, we're not going to be opening it up just yet, so show in folder. What we're going to be doing is creating a custom directory. Now, I already created the custom directory. It's just basically right in my C local disk, and it's in Minecraft, right in the root folder. Perfect. Just drop it right in. Again, we're not going to be opening this part up, but what we are going to be doing is going to do the next part. Now, I created a custom bat. Now, in order to actually show you guys what is inside, here is all that it is. And actually I'm going to fix that because I changed the directory around. So what this will do is it will set the installation folder to Minecraft or C colon Minecraft. And this is what this is. So it'll be installed in here, which is what you want. And from here, this second line basically tells you where the exe is, which is all that's right here. Rather than showing you how to actually change everything around, change the bat around, etc, etc, I'm just going to be posting this on Mediafire, so it, the link will be in the description down below, near the top, so you guys can actually just download it from there. And basically from there on out, all you have to do is just click the Minecraft 1.6.2 bat, enter in your username and password, Hit the login button and it should generally work, which is perfect for what you need it for. Now, if for some reason this does not work, chances are you might not have put a capital on your Minecraft directory or you put it in a incorrect folder. Then you'd probably want to edit the bat with Notepad++. It's a free program, just Notepad++, Google it and you'll be able to see from there. Once you do have Notepad++, all you really have to do is just, again, right-click and edit with Notepad++, change it to the directory that you put it in. And the reason why we're putting it in this directory, by the way, it's much easier than having to go into C colon backslash users backslash your username backslash app data backslash dot Minecraft backslash etc, 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 for those that are used to modding. Anyway, that's about it for this part. What we're going to be doing is showing you this next part about profiles. Now, automatically off the bat, it creates a profile based off of your username. We can ignore that one for now. What we'll want to do is create a new profile. So now why do these profiles exist? Let's do a case study. Let's say you have a single player map which you want heavily modified. So we'll call that modded let's play. But let's say you also want to create another profile afterwards that's multiplayer vanilla. So you can actually play on let's say a couple servers. Well, you can do that and these directories will not conflict. So we're actually we're going to be calling this one 1.6.2. Done and done. I'm also going to be setting the resolution to 1280 by 720. Uncheck automatically ask Mojang for assistance unless you really want to try that out. I've never actually done that and I figured it wouldn't really help that much. For those that actually do know how much RAM you have on your computer and are comfortable by doing this, you can actually change how much RAM is utilized. Now remember my tutorial on how to actually set up RAM and increase your RAM to Minecraft, it is so much easier now. All you have to do is just do it from here. Personally, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I can actually set four gigs right here. However, if you have, let's say, four gigs of RAM, set it to two because you want to have at least one to two gigabytes set for your operating system, as well as maybe for your recording program, let's say. Hint, hint. <laughs> just a bit of a tip out there. Anyway, so all you have to do now is hit play. and it loads up Minecraft just fine and dandy. So as you can see, everything seems to have worked. If you go back into your Minecraft directory, it has in fact created a 1.6.2, and inside is everything that you need for the next part. Note that things have changed around. You no longer have your Minecraft.jar over here or your bin folder or anything else like that. So this is why this tutorial is actually gonna be beneficial to everybody, and again, once that new tutorial is up, I will put it in the annotations above, so do feel free to check that out once it is up there. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. And again, if you have any comments, if something did not work, or if you're worried or whatever, just leave comments down below. Someone will be able to answer it. Chances are I probably will. But, I mean, a lot of my subscribers also like to answer questions, so they are great that way, and I thank you for that. I really, really do. Leave comments down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and don't forget, keep modding.